Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, first of all, wanted to make sure that wasn't moving too fast. Second of all, I just got back from first day of my new job, which, strangely enough, was reminding me, it was very reminiscent of one of my first jobs that I had. Um... It's something I kind of wanted to talk about today. Um, it was very reminiscent in a sense uh, because of like just the ideals that the company has. Um, it's actually kind of nice. It, it's a good environment. It's um, You know, genuinely good employees who don't try to fake anything. Uh, there, there are a lot of factors that I look for when I'm trying to find a job, if I am looking, which I, I was. Um, granted, I was coming out of a job that had pretty much the same kind of factors, really good morals, really good opportunity, all that kind of stuff. Um, good environment, kind employees. I guess the reason it was so reminiscent to my one of my first jobs, it was not my first, but it was the same company that my first job was, uh, which was Taco Bell. Um, the one that I first worked for, though, was owned by PepsiCo, whereas the other one was more of a third-party owned. Well, I guess PepsiCo technically is third party, but it wasn't Pepsi who owned the other one I worked at. One of the one of the reasons was that of what I've already listed, but another reason, and I guess this is kind of, this is kind of makes it kind of a no dub what I said, but the manager of the the store that I work at, like the main uh, general manager of the store, actually was a coworker of mine when in the later time period of when I was working at said Taco Bell. Um, I was able to, like, at the, at the end of the day today, I was actually conversing with him about a lot of the situations. But just to make sure I wasn't out of the way, that conversation didn't go too long. But it was kind of nice to know that I was working with somebody who actually understood the aspect of don't be, don't be a butt when it comes to understanding people's circumstances when it comes to work. Um, the best story I can give uh, as an example for that is actually what happened when I stopped working at Taco Bell. So, at the point in time I uh, did leave, it was half a test, half not. Uh, mostly not, though, I guess. So it was more of not a test, but it slightly. A little bit of me wanted to check something, I guess is more accurate. But what happened is that there was this assistant manager who's going to go unnamed who joined the group who was horrible at their job. Treated everyone poorly um, to the extent where lawsuits actually ended up happening. Um, by that point in time, I was already gone. But from the sources that I've heard, not just the manager I work with now, but just general sources, that did happen. But I digress. Um, this particular assistant manager was so bad. Those rumors that go around about U.S. McDonald's, um, how bad those are because of the employment, that type of bad. I can confirm that because I've also worked at a McDonald's. Anyway, I digress. Again. So this particular assistant manager caused so much havoc, unnecessary havoc amongst others. He was not welcoming of his employees. He wanted everything to go one very specific way, and if it didn't, he'd blow a lid. It, horrible manager. Horrible assistant manager. For some weird reason, though, the general manager of the place 
se just seemed okay with the guy. I know for a fact that this guy was reported a few times, but the general manager did nothing. Um, before I continue, I do want to point out that things have altered. Uh, things have changed. This kind of mindset isn't really there anymore. Um, I have visited there. That's how I know this. I've talked to some of the employees that I knew when I did work there. And they had confirmed this for me, so. But this particular assistant manager is the reason why I left. Constant, it, it was like a constant battle with someone, with like a 40-year-old who always wanted their very specific toy, even though they'd trash it like one week later. They'd always want that, and when they'd lose it, they'd cry. And they'd argue if they didn't get it. It was basically a constant of that. The, the bad parts of that, at best. And, yeah, actually. I was about to rephrase that, but yeah. What I just said is yeah. <laughs> so this particular assistant manager, I was like, I'm not dealing with this. You know what? I quit. I left, like walkout quit, with the intention of officially quitting. Having another job in mind at the time as well. But I went back with a couple different things in mind. One, to make sure I was able to keep a steady job until I was officially hired on the alternative. But two, I wanted to see if what my thoughts about what was going on was actually accurate. If it was just, if they were basically turning into the type of company that will hire literally every any everyone and anyone but when they do they don't care about them the thing that, and i was right they, that is exactly what they were at the time there was one thing that gave it away i went back asked if i could work again there again and a good normal employer who would um, you know, care for their employees, but also take into consideration all other factors. And when I say care, I mean actually properly care. An employer like that, when they hear these words, they would have gone, you had your chance, no. Or they would have at least done some kind of procedure. Like you have to wait blank amount of time, or you have to do this, or you have to do that. This manager, no. Off the bat, it was, yeah, come on back. My brain immediately went, yeah, once I find this other job, I'm done. Once I've officialized this other job, I'm officially done here. And that's exactly what happened. One week later, I was officially working at the, um, I think this is Lowe's, actually, that I was working at afterwards, so... When I started working a seasonal job at Lowe's, I quit. I was done. Finished. Come to go back uh, about three, four months later, I believe, to find out that apparently both the GM and the assistant manager both got fired and replaced with much, 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 much better people. So, yeah, there's that little backstory. And then there comes this job that I have now. Arby's, by the way. S the people there are, their morals are so much better. They understand the circumstance because, the, the GM understands the circumstance because he's been through it. And he was actually a coworker of mine. Much lower on the scale when I was there, but, yeah. Doesn't take much for someone to raise the scale that a place like that. And, you know, I'm actually glad he's the in the position he is. I'm glad he's the he's the like he he is this that type of manager of the store I met because he understands like what was going on, how people should be treated, how you should treat employees, but how you also also should approach the job simultaneously. It's something that I'm very grateful for, grateful for in this particular job that I've got. 
Now, does everybody... There are a lot of people in the world who think it's a bad idea to actually, you know, work a job like this. Because in history, you know, fast food jobs are known to pay... Bear in mind the term in history. But they're no, they had been known to be to pay employees the worst possible pay. Like a normal person, take that with a grain of salt, would barely be able to get by because of it. But I don't really think this is the case because of the layout that I've been presented with. I'm not going to go too much into detail about this, but because this is just kind of me, supposed to be me talking about my first day. But outside of that conversation and the comparisons that I've made, there's not much other to talk about just because it's the generic orientation. Um, it was, you know, the paperwork thing that everyone gets done, direct deposit, especially for nowadays since nobody really touches physical money anymore. <laughs> but, yeah, outside of that, that's about it. Um... Yeah, first day went really well. Hopefully the next ones do as well. But that's, as I've said in the past, not going to stop the videos that are to come. Those will always happen and will never stop. One way or the other, though, I'm going to leave this here. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, if you like the kind of life-type videos where I'm doing vlogs about personal life-type stuff, uh, make sure to push that like button. And so far, you can't see it anymore. Um, and if you want another topic discussed that's, you know, in general, I guess, just let us know in the comments below. Uh, want to check out any other kind of discussion rant type videos? I guess you can consider this that. That's what I'm considering it. Click link on this side where you'll find, you know what, I'm not even saying a number anymore. There are a lot. <laughs> But if this video, if this type of thing doesn't always quite float your boat, why not click the link on the other side where the channel may present you with something you may enjoy a bit more. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning into this video, everyone, and we hope to see you guys all in another. See you guys later.